Right, and then this is the first video to go with the little worksheet I gave you. Um, basically, I've tried it to go right back to very, very basic beginnings of all the things you're going to need to know. Um, and it's basically a bit like having the musical theory book, but you only really want the three pages in the middle. So that's what these are. These are the three pages in the middle that will unlock everything for you. So on the first sheet I've sent you, um, it's just basically a neck diagram. And it's really important to get a grip of anything to do in relation with the with guitar is just this really basic technique and learning a few really basic things to start with. So the first thing you'll see on that sheet um, is the first uh, 12 notes on the first string of the guitar and the bottom E string and how you should play them in order. And it's basically what we call a, a three position way of playing all the notes on the neck of the guitar. So um, without further ado, there's a tuning chord for you. There's an E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all of the notes from bottom E to top E on the bottom string. Yeah, that whole range of notes. And I'm only going to move my hand three times to do so. So instead of moving it 12 times, I'm only going to use it three times. And to do that, I use all four fingers. So I do it like this. So that's the first position, that's the first head, and I move my hand to the second one. And then I move to the third position. So I can cover all 12 notes. With three hand positions. Unbelievably economical. And it's one of the joys about the guitar, is that it's an extremely economical instrument to learn to play. Um, so what we really want to do in doing that, while we're doing this simple exercise, teaching ourselves independent finger movement, is also to learn the notes while we're doing it. So they go like this in sequence. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Let me move our hand. A, A sharp, B, C. Move our hand again. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And you've seen on your sheet that some of the notes are written twice. So you have F sharp, but you also have G flat. And this is all to do with the direction in which we play the notes. If we're going up a scale, in each of the times we play those notes, we sharpen the note. So here we have an F, we sharpen it into an F sharp. Yep. So here we have a G and we sharpen it to a G sharp. Yep. Um, if we're coming down the scale, we're flattening the notes. So the G becomes a G flat, yep, or A becomes an A flat, D becomes a D flat. Now, you quite often hear people only ever talk about B flat, yep, B flat, they never talk about A sharp. But it's important to realise that they are both the same thing. Um, can be confusing, and it took me a while to wrap my head around that. But if you're learning these notes in this sequence, and also learning it as a fingering exercise, and saying in your head, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E. Yeah, that will really, really help you get that knowledge, get all those notes together. And that's why I say it's really important to play them in that sequence. But as you're doing so, learn the notes as well. And of course, the sequence of notes never changes. So E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. OK, well, here's an A. If I go to another E somewhere on the guitar, I can still have E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. The sequence never changes. Where you play it changes, but the sequence of notes never changes. So that always stays the same. That's why it's crucial to learn them. Yep. And if you learn them off the bottom string, off the bottom E string, you've instantly learned all the notes on the top string. Because it's an E, so we have two E's. We have two F's. Two F sharps. Two G's. 
two G sharps, two A's, etc., etc., etc. So you're you're already you know um, two sixths of the way there. Uh, and the reason I've left the blank notes on your sheet is for you to fill those in because it's really easy to work out where they all go. So hopefully that's part one described very, very poorly by myself. And hopefully if you read it, it will make more sense.